in this segment, I'm going to continue looking at opening and saving, I guess, but this time it'll be um, specifically to do with the import and export commands, and I'll also show you another way of browsing for designs. So what I'm going to do is just show you that here um, on the Windows toolbar, we had, I guess, read from a floppy diskette and export or write to a floppy diskette. But if you look under the file drop-down menu, so yes, we have open, we have save. Well, save as, it's generally the same. When you choose save, it automatically saves the design. Um, if you've never saved it, it brings up the save or op the save dialog box. If you haven't, if you've already saved the design, choosing save will simply overwrite the most recent version of the design. Choosing save as gives you the ability to change the name and or save it to a new location in your computer. Now you also have the ability to browse and this is also very similar to the open so maybe what I'll do is just choose um, to show the difference I'm going to actually start by showing open. So when you choose open it brings up an open box but here behind the open box is still my Wings modular software. So it basically has a specific box for browsing designs and opening them. Uh, but you, from this box you can choose the browse option or, and I'll just close this, you can also choose the browse option from the file drop down menu, browse. Now the difference is, I'll choose browse, what you can see right away is instead of opening up a new window to browse in, it basically gave me um, a librarian program right inside of the Wings modular. So basically it's allowing me to browse the contents of my computer and if I click on a design and then choose right click and say open, it'll open that design into my Wings modular. So it's, a set, in a set, it's essentially the same thing as choosing the open box, it's just another way of browsing the designs that are in your computer. Now, also on that sort of file drop down menu, close, well, we just opened a design, close is going to close it. Another way of closing a design, so this actually brought me back to the icon browser, and let's just go ahead and select this motorcycle and choose to open that. I'm just going to show you if I come to the window drop down menu, here we've got the untitled design, here we've got a design that I'd opened, CW0139, that was that sun design, it's still open. I still have the icon browser open, so it basically becomes almost like a design, I can come back to it easily, and then I have the design that we just opened, which is that motorcycle, and now I just showed you, you could say, you can close these windows, or these designs, by coming in here and saying close, but you also have the ability here not the big red X at the bottom, at the top, that's going to close Wings Modular, but the smaller X underneath it, that'll close the design you're currently looking at. So in this case, I can actually close the icon browser that I have open right now by just choosing close, and I could even close this sun by just choosing that X right there, and that leaves me with the star, and now if I look in the window drop-down menu, the only design that's currently open is this sun, or not a sun, sorry, it's the star myself confused. Now, under the file drop down menu, you have export and import. And this generally has to do with, again, loading from a floppy diskette, from a machine. When this says machine floppy diskette, what that means is, and, and again, coming from the commercial side of things, um, some of the older embroidery machines actually had floppy diskettes that weren't readable by a computer. They were a specific format to that embroidery machine and you had to have commercial embroidery software to be able to read that embroidery format. And that's what this is talking about. So if you have a, a Baradin FMC floppy diskette and you've got a disk reader, you can actually open it up, bring it into Wings Modular and then save it as a Genomi Jeff file if you want to. Um, you can also import from a paper tape, so talk about a throwback to my past. Um, when I first learned to digitize, we basically created our embroidery designs and then printed them on paper tapes. And so that's why I'm saying Wings Modular has all sorts of things that I, I highly doubt anybody who's got artistic sewing suite has a stash of paper tapes that they were looking to read in through their paper tape reader. but it's interesting that it's available here in the Wings Modular software. So that's what this is about and I guess you can import plugins. I'm going to assume that that's the ability 
to add new features to the Wings modular software. And you could import an image. And again, we use our, uh, as an artistic sewing suite user, we're going to bring our images into the Creative Drawings program. And we're going to create our embroidery designs there. We don't really have the digitizing tools in the Wings modular software. We don't have the plugins that gives us digitizing tools. We need to do those functions over in the um, Creative Drawings program. That's what we're using for it. And so same similarly with export, machine floppy, diskette, um, to image, this is something interesting. So you could actually take this star design and save it to an image. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And the other options were to plugins and to DXF, which is a, the Wings modular commercial format. So, but this is interesting. If you choose to image, I'm not sure the star design will really do it justice. Basically, I have to choose where. So I'm going to choose to save this just onto my desktop, make it easy for me to find it. And I don't care what it's called, untitled.1. The formats that I could save this image as are going to be PNG, JPEG, Bitmap, and TIFF. So I'll just choose JPEG. And I can choose the DPI, the, the resolution. And I can have it include the fabric, which has been selected. And I'll say OK or Save. Now, here's the design here on my desktop. And I'm just going to open it up and show you that it saved the design of the star and of course it would have a hole cut out of it so it's not um, showing a hole here it just shows fabric but and it even has sort of the texture of the fabric that we were using shown there maybe that's not the most attractive design um, why don't we just do it one more time I'm gonna say open and we'll select one of these fancy designs um, why don't we browse down and select something kind of interesting looking um, oh it doesn't really matter I'll select this butterfly Say OK. And so there's the butterfly on my screen. And I'll say File. And I'll say Export to Image. And I'm going to, again, save it to my desktop. And it's got the name of the design. I'm going to choose JPEG, because I know I can easily open that and save the design. So when it's done, now I'm going to open up that butterfly and show you that it actually shows um, what the butterfly looks like as an image. So that's one way that you could create an image of your design that maybe you went, needed to post it on a website or email it to your friend and it gives you that realistic preview in an image. So that was an interesting part about the export feature and so that's a little bit more about um, the export, import, and browsing options in the Wings modular software.